how are we not talking about as this guy as maybe potentially the best Street Fighter V player, uh, you know, period right now? Might be. Might be. He's going to have to fight through losers to get a championship, Capcom Cup, <laughs> but certainly doable for him. One, one of the things that I do... <laughs> They hear people cheering their names in the crowd. And the one thing that I do love about Moke right now, you know, even just from that headshot and the response of someone shouting Moke, he's having fun. Yeah. He's having a good time. He's traveling the world, playing video games. Mm, you know, you know it. it's a great time, great time. So one of them will go home. Another three out of five set here. And what's interesting, too, is that, you know, these two might be the premier players of their characters. Yeah. And early on, you know, a lot of people were talking about Laura, Balrog, Yurian. You know, Yurian's here, but there's no Lauras or Balrogs no, in the sure. top eight. But then towards the end of the year, it really was about Rashid and Ibuki. And guess what? Here we have the two premier players of those characters going up against each other here at Capcom Cup. A little bit more cautious play from Moke. Okay. Doesn't have to contend with quite as strong of a zoning character this time. Ibuki more about pressure and counter pokes. Now we saw from Yukadon against Tokido how much he just wants to be in your face and continue that pressure. But uh, Moke right now doing a great job preventing that, but just a missed time on that meaty. Chance for pressure. Even there. Nice oh, block. Yeah. Oh, but you know what? That's going to lead... Oh, wait. You know what? See... I think he let it drop Maybe. because he didn't want him to stun with so many hits. The combo continues, so thus the damage scaling also continues. If he lets that combo drops and gets him stunned off of the throw, the follow-up combo will do much more damage. Okay, Yukadon scoped that out. Projectile invincibility right on through. Good jump timing. Forward movement all of a sudden. Oh, no. Wow. What? Oh, a couple of wild errors from both guys. For sure, neither one intended that. All right. Gets the corner position, gets the pressure, throw. Does he run up and throw again? No, just goes for the crouching medium kick. Put himself in the corner, but hey, you're Rashid, no big deal. <laughs> yep, just like that, you're out of there. Again, a character who is so good at controlling where he and his opponent on screen are. Got side switch combos, got side switch uh, moves. Good confirm there by Moke. Some damage for himself, most of the way into the corner as well. Is that enough? Not quite. But oh boy, Yukonon is dangerous. Look at all those resources. They're not going to come into play. Yeah. Moke with game one. So you said that uh, Moke managed to beat Yukadon earlier in this year, and right now it looks like he is continuing that streak. Moke looking really comfortable. He's taken out so many strong players here. He just took out Daigo. He took out Punk earlier. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. We've seen how active Moke likes to be on his own wake up that time as well. All right, sets that up. Tried to blow away a lot of that tornado. You see, he did get rid of a lot of it with the EX Kunai. Oh, Mine again. It's just perfect movement. Exactly the moment he needed it. Okay. You get on patient there in the corner. Very difficult to deal with that button. Oh, oh, he fell to the other side. I don't think Moke was expecting that. Oh, that was too far for the EX Kunai explosion. To Here come the mix-ups. Where's he going? Got him! Using the explosion of the B trigger bomb to just hide where he is. All you see is the explosion, and when it's done, Ibuki is either going to be on the left or the right, and you just got to block and hope you guess the correct direction. Okay, Yukadon saw that dash or that jump. His idea was to dash through it. He gets the corner as a result. Pressure. I'm okay, trying to press buttons underneath. No. Wow, that looked like a neutral jump, and in fact, was a foot. Whoa, he hopped over the kunai on the beat trigger activation. Oh, Yukidon with the buttons immediately. He's already seen how Moke likes the pressure there. Oh, again, that button right there, that crouching heavy punch controls so much space on the screen. Hard to get around. Crush counter, safe on block. But, but regardless, Yukidon takes the game. Good throw from Yukadon. Now we're tied 1-1 here in the loser's quarter match. Round one. Okay, ready. Fight. Of course, game now. Okay, yeah, his idea was to go in hard, but as we said, very active on his own wake up, this time with the neutral jump. Buttons, neutral jump, EX, Mixer, a lot of different choices coming out of him. 
Stun, almost! That might have been a counter hit push back there for that. Oh, yes, there it is. Baited the throw that time. So big damage off of this. Needs one more com good combo, good sequence. Right, but Yukadon, oh, okay, saves it. Looking for the hit confirm instead. Oh, he just ate the cross up. Not sure what happened. I just saw him crouch, and he just got hit. Oh, um, okay, has very unusual jump timing, because I think that's a big part of why they work both here and against Daigo and against other people. Or not the time of the sort of timing that you often see. Mm -hmm. He waits a little longer than other people do. He moves into it more suddenly than other people do. Mm, nice side switch from Yukadon. Gets his pressure going, gets his offense started. Yeah, look at this. Moke has not been able to stop this offense just yet, but the nice off the wall decision there. And now back to neutral. Mm. Big stuff. Movement into the corner. It's really what Moke wants. Mix ups. Great blocks. Might have been an absolute card, actually, but. <laughs> hey. All right, trying to use those EX kunais to gain some pressure. No anti air from Moke that time. Gave Yukadon a free jump in, and now here comes Moke. Damage, and guess what? All the way into the corner, back throw. Yeah, he was looking for the block. Right. So now it's on Yukadon to make this happen. Blocking is Moke, but it's still very fidgety. He stayed in the front, and Moke read that? Yeah, I think it was the opposite last time. He was looking for the same thing Moke did. Spinning pressure here from Moke. He oh. does see it, yes! So his pressure is just looking so good. I love his movement. I like his delays. His own wake up, he's fought extremely well. He just has a lot of things going for him right now. Moke now, one game away. He has been so dominant all tournament long. And in fact, the only match that he lost was the crazy nail biter against Itabashi. Outside of that, he's been so solid the entire tournament. And now he's one game away from continuing forward and eliminating Yukadon. Of course, Yukadon trying his best to prevent that right now. He needs to take two games in a row. Yukadon looking for the jump. It's not coming. Moko, and, Moko instead, ground pressure. Okay, no anti, yeah, no anti air from Yukadon, unfortunately. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Trade, yeah, yeah, exactly. So actually, good for Moke because he got the knockdown. Oh, do you see the weight? Just in case Moke did the wake up EX spinning mixer. We saw him do that a lot against Daigo, but here he's been a little bit more conservative against Yukadon, it feels like. Oh, the other side, the left right mix up. Yukadon taking round number one. Very hard to see that. All right. Yukadon looking for the dash toward it, didn't come this time. Again, right now, just jockeying for a little bit of an offensive pressure, pressure situation. Well, although Yukadon has had good pressure of his own, I feel like most of this match is him waiting and seeing what Moke does. Is Moke going to move forward on the ground? Is he going to jump in? What's going to happen? And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Uh, not that that's to Yukadon's error. It's very hard to play against Rashid in that respect. Good conversion from Yukadon. I'm sorry, from Moke to get Yukadon all the way into the corner. And again, just trying to battle his way out of there. Just don't want to get stuck in the corner. Your restriction is, your movement is so restricted in that area. Wow, EX uppercut just in the middle of the block string. Moke with the big time life advantage. His defense is looking good. Rush counter sweep. Can't quick rise. Gets the throw. Trigger? Yes, it's yes. coming. Runs back and goes for the trigger. What's the mix of? Oh! Uh, it was that from the front still? Landed front, no. Oh, my bad. It was from the back. Sick. Yeah, I'm not sure which direction that Moke hey. jumped at all, but here we go. Moke is at match point now versus Yukadon. Right, using again that EX Kunai, that second explosion locks the opponent down and is able to allow Ibuki to get in. But again, a little bit more activity than you hear from Yukadon. But you know what? Moki saw that and he immediately recognized. Yeah, so far, Moke. Oh man. Okay, there we go. He has the anti air on point, ready to go. Looking for the jump, he was, but Yukadon attacked on the ground and it worked out. Okay, not a cross counter, so it's not going to combo off of that. Here we go. Big chance here. Party time. Yeah, got to make this next mix-up count. Oh, I'm not sure. The air grab? It was, I don't know. Something was something weird was yeah. happening. Sure. He still has the bomb, but I'm not sure he's going to get a chance to use it. Moke pressuring. In the corner. Oh, gets out again. He's just ready. But he sort of gives Yukadon a chance now. If Yukadon can find a moment in neutral, he can get the bomb out. He can get some damage, get the game. 
But again, Yukonon is waiting to see what Moke does. Okay. Yep. Yashid, only character with that run. Does he get him? Not in time. There oh, it is. Oh, here we go. It's not Stop enough. Up. He did not quite have the EX enough to do it. There he oh. goes. Moving forward, he gets the grab. What a clutch throw from Yukonon. So many of the character players at the end of a game, because they know now all of a sudden the throw is... So, I mean, normally in neutral, you take the throw because it's, you, the, the opponent just doesn't get the same kind of setup off of combos. But at the end of the round, obviously, when the throw is going to kill you, it creates so much fear that a lot of people get the throw bait at the end of the round. But Yukadon, nope, he went straight for the throw to close it out and tie it up two to two. Well, Moke's already where he wants to be, that's for sure. Oh, all of a sudden, forward command dash. Yukadon gets out of the corner as a result. I like that. And patience, Moke moving. Overhead, all of a sudden, we haven't seen it yet. All right, into the corner now. Already has V Trigger. If he can find a hit. No, Moke gets out again. Oh, man, his own wake up has been so strong. No, hit out of it. I feel like there was some execution error there. That was such an unsafe V Trigger that he activated. My oh! God. He had the counter hit, but he didn't confirm it. That could have been the round. Waiting. Oh, is he in there? Oh he God. waited, oh boy! And the last hit belongs to Moke. That crouching heavy punch once again, causing headaches for the opponent. Moke once again at match point. Yeah, Yugodon has fought back from here before. Oh, beautiful throw bait. Punishes the throw with, close to stun. One more hit, oh wow, yeah! Wow, what a choice, EX. Kick. Uh well, hey, hey, it works. I felt like he tried to backdash to avoid the, the, the... Oh, man, stun's coming in, Moke. Oh, man. Here we go. He was trying to avoid the mixer, but instead, the eagle spike on Wake Up caught the... Oh, my God! Oh, That's damage! That oh, that was so a stun! Oh, boy, Moke. He feigned backdash, backdash into trigger, for sure. Right? Right. And so, and so Yukadon tries to move forward to chase him down, prevent it from coming out. Instead, Moke with the backdash into button instead, and he controlled things right from there. That's Beautiful right. Beautiful play. Yeah, we have seen Moke do that time and time again, uh, even just here in this top eight already. Double backdash into V-trigger. Yeah, why not? It's something that Rashid's always do, and it's, it's strong.